In this video, we're talking about the Elementor Pro Page Builder, okay? And you've seen the amazing power of the Elementor Page Builder. And even if you're thinking about upgrading to the Pro version, I would really recommend that. It's amazing tool. And the Pro version will be giving you even more widgets to work with. Some of these widgets like posts, you can customize your blog posting easily with a drag and drop widget or portfolio, even slides, forms price table, countdown, and WooCommerce products like Woo products, elements, flipbooks. We have Woo elements, categories, and Woo add to cart, share button templates, login, animated headline, blog quotes, Facebook embed, and Facebook comments, Facebook button, Facebook page, nav menu, and even more to be coming because like these guys are like publishing every now and then new widgets to their pro version. And I really recommend that you go and upgrade to that if you are willing to take your website to the next level. And if you're not willing to upgrade to the pro version, don't worry guys, I got you. I'm gonna show you some free plugins to add most of these features to your page builder. And most of these tools and widgets are for decoration and even customizing your website with more touches. So it's not going to be the base of your website, but it comes really in handy and easy for you to use. And mainly if you're going to take that as a career designing websites or freelancing websites, I really, really recommend that you go to the Brew version. And here are some of their pro features. We have live form editor, global widgets. Live custom CSS for developers or people who know how to code or know how to use codes or even embedding anywhere like that. You can select template and insert it into anywhere and slides and also supercharged WooCommerce. A WooCommerce is that amazing plugin that helps you building your e-commerce store. And don't worry, we're going to be covering each and every detail about that amazing plugin and how to build our e-commerce store and be covering each and every detail about that. So don't worry about that. And even you will have access to those amazing pro templates that you can customize later for your website. And here are their prices. You got the personal business and unlimited plan. This one will be suitable for you if you have only one website, giving you one year of updates and support. And business plan for three sites, $99. And unlimited if you're gonna work as a web designer or freelancing this will be amazing for you but if you're not gonna be upgrading to the pro version don't worry I've got you amazing plugins to cover that for you so first of them we've got Elementor add-on elements which is gonna be adding uh, flip box text separator price table post list shape separator animated text and split text all of them are in here in our screenshots it's like flipping box and this is our text separator that you can add between your elements and you've got here price tables and this is how they're gonna look in your Elementor and you've got your description here and installation okay if you're gonna go for the pro version there's no need to add any of these uh, plugins to your pro and also there's a potential that they would be doing some conflict with your website if you're gonna use them. So keep that in mind while you are dealing with these plugins. Anyway, the other plugin we have in here is DZ Elementor add-on. And that one will be adding byte button, require WooCommerce. This is for e-commerce and products, also for WooCommerce and product categories. And also will be adding posts for your Elementor page builder, okay? And we've got our screenshots in here. You're gonna see buy it now button or recent posts box or, or WooCommerce product category list and WooCommerce products, okay? And some of their screenshots in here. And then we have that add-on widget for Elementor, which is gonna be adding WooCommerce product categories, products, and best-selling products, feature products, and on sale popular products, okay? So this one mainly for e-commerce. So if you're not willing to establish an e-commerce store within your website with Elementor, there's no need to add these two plugins, this one add-on and that one as well, okay? Then we have our WooCommerce, which we're gonna cover later that course in a complete entire section, but I'm gonna install it now on my subdomain to experiment with these plugins but before i install it i want to mention some points to consider while you're dealing with plugins okay 
we've got that search tab featured popular recommended for plugins and also you can see how popular they are by how many times they are installed when it was last updated and compatible with this new version of wordpress because wordpress keep updating their versions these are important stuff of course you can use any plugin you would like but be careful while you are using them and you should consider doing regular backup of your website and we're gonna learn how to do backups for our wordpress website later also through that course but anyway you should consider those factors while you're installing any plugin and if you got any conflict within your website or you have any trouble within your website rethink of that fishy plugin that you installed earlier okay and also those famous plugins can do harm to your website or conflict within your website things happen anyway let's install our woocommerce plugin then we're gonna activate that but anyway i'm gonna skip the rest of installation process for the woocommerce because we're gonna dive in that in detail later within our woocommerce and e-commerce section of that course now we're going to install our plugins for the elementor and before that I want to show you how we searched them we have Elementor called Elementor add-on elements and it has plus 10,000 active installs I'm gonna install this one so after installing Elementor add-on plugin you wanna see these nice widgets in here you can see animated uh, and you can see animated text in action actually <laughs> in here we got cutting edge and you can choose to customize it from here with your desired text for animation and you can customize the colors and everything about it okay just like we do with any other widget you can simply drag your animated text anywhere and then you're gonna see it like that and you can start customizing it the way you would like okay just like this one so I worked on this one and made it like our main title okay so I'm gonna remove that one and actually I'm gonna remove that one as well the original text I'm gonna keep the new one okay and you can customize it for mobile devices and so just like any other text we did before and then you can have that amazing effect with that widget split text you can have two different colors within your line so you can customize it also from here either for uh, a split mode for word or letter that will be including one letter or three letters or whatever you'd like and you can change that count now you have two letters and you can customize your text and style it even from here okay for part one and part two of your line or your typography and then with our uh, other tools we can see we have a flip box like this one when you hover over it it's gonna be flipping and you can customize its animation and of course you can customize its icon and title and you can add action button at the back of the box like that and you can customize it to any link you would like and you can link it to a product of your WooCommerce products or even outside your website if you would like and also we have the price table that you can duplicate or fully customize and you can insert your links into those buttons okay so we have like in here action button we can insert our link in here or add icon shopping cart you can customize these price lists the way you would like then we have our post list as a widget drag and drop as well that can be customized if you want to insert your blog posts anywhere else in your website you can use that post tool well, I think this is an amazing plugin that you can be trying to add some of the premium features to your page builder. And now we're going to add the DZ Elementor, which is going to be adding these to our Elementor. So you're going to search for DZ Elementor and you're going to see that plugin. And most of these plugins are new, those add-ons for the Elementor. So you're going to see low number of installs and maybe didn't get updated recently. So you should be careful if you got any bugs or anything wrong with your website you should consider disabling these plugins okay so we're gonna install that one now install now and then we're gonna activate okay now we have one more plugin to install if we want to but it's not gonna do much difference from what we installed previously this one will be adding categories and products and popular products featured sale on products best selling products 
And this plugin could be very useful for you if you're working on your e-commerce store and you want to show your best selling products alone in some part of your website or your featured products or anything like that. So you can install that one later if you would like, but I'm going to show you the DZ add-on plugin. So let's go to our Elementor in here. And here what you're going to add with that plugin, you're going to go to your widgets and you're going to see WooCommerce products, horizontal and categories. Okay. And also you can add recent posts box and buy it now button. This one is not working on my theme. I think it's a bug within our plugin, but it's not a big deal for us. Anyway, I already created three products in our WooCommerce. And we're going to learn how to create our own products and do even sales and everything for them. Don't worry about that. But I'm talking about the Elementor and how we integrate our products within the Elementor. Okay, so we have so we have three products, iPhone 8, uh, so we have three products and if we select that widget, it's and so we have three products and it's simply done by dragging uh, products and inserting them in your page. So you simply add them by drag and drop feature and let me show you how to do that. Let's create a new section here. I'm going to add a new section and let's choose that structure. And I'm going to add our widget. Okay. And you're going to see the same aspect we have in here and you can customize it the way you would like. You can select your widget and you can uh, give it a title if you would like. I didn't give it a title because like I created that heading and I customized it already. So no need to add a title if you want to go ahead and do that. And we have select category or parent category. Now we have all categories available and you can choose to display a specific category instead of all categories like that. And you can uh, customize your button instead of add to cart. I would leave it add to cart as it is. And you can customize rows and columns. Okay, so we've got one row. If you have too many products, you can customize how many rows you would like and columns. Okay, so now we've got three, four, five. Okay, and if you got sale on any product, you're gonna see it in here. Okay, and for the categories, you can add product categories like that. We've got laptops one and mobile phones two, as you can see, and that's by dragging this one into your section area. And also you can add recent posts from here from our blog from our blog posts into any part of your website and now you can see that you have many widgets to do that job for you you have recent posts and you've got post list from the other plugin and also the brew version has the post widget and WooCommerce widget but it's not gonna show until you install WooCommerce plugin then it's gonna show in your Bro version okay so you have to bear in mind that the Elementor Pro will not be customizing your products itself, okay? Or your WooCommerce settings. So it's not going to be designing that for you. You have to do that either through your theme or your WooCommerce settings. So you have to keep in mind that you're going to work on your uh, WooCommerce to customize your shipping, taxes, your image, your products gallery and image and tags and all that through your WooCommerce plugin. And we're going to see how to do that later in that course. Don't worry about that section. And also you might need to use your theme customizer to customize your pages, the shop page, the cart page and your stores layout. Okay. Okay. That was our lesson. Hope it was helpful for you guys how to add add-ons to your Elementor and make it even quite similar to the Elementor Pro. And feel free to go install some of them and try them out if you would like to add some design touches to your website. Okay.